Hello, it's Kylie from Paintwing. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to paint a wolf with watercolors. Before I start painting, I'm going to show some of my supplies. This here is a one and a half inch Mottler brush by Princeton. I also have two number eight round brushes that I'll be using. One is by the brand Silver Black Velvet and the other is by Princeton. And then as for colors, I'm going to be using pretty similar colors I usually use. I'll be using Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, Raw Umber, Burnt Umber, and then Payne's Gray. And then here's the palette I used. It's actually just a small dinner plate. And then as for paper, I'm using Arches Cold Press Watercolor Block, and then it's 16 by 20 inches. And then I'll also be using some table salt for texture. I'm going to start this painting off by creating a wash. I'm going to first add some water, and then add some gray and yellow ochre paint. Here you can see me just blending it out. I'm trying not to overwork things as I paint. You'll notice I'm just directly adding the paint to the wash and letting the colors mix on their own. I'll have the normal speed tutorial of this on Patreon, along with a reference photo and a drawing template for those who need it. I'll have a link to my Patreon in the description of this video. Now I'm going to add a little sprinkle of salt for texture. Here I'm going in with my Mottler brush. I'm just using wet paint on dry paper. I'm trying to emulate the fur right here. And I'm just going to fill it in with some more color. Add a little burnt sienna here. And I'm just adding more color where there's darker value in the reference photo. Hi kitty. Then here I'm creating a drip by tipping the paper and adding some water. And then a little bit of salt. And then here I'm splashing in some clean water which will help create blooms. And using my small brush, I'm going to add some hairs before this dries. And now that everything's dry, I'm going to go back in with the details. For the details, I'm going to be using smaller brushes, and I'll be mainly using a wet on dry technique as well. This will help stay in control.
Thank you guys so much for watching as I paint this wolf. As I said earlier, I have the full tutorial on my Patreon, along with a bunch of other tutorials. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.